in the in the well i didn't see it actually i kind of want to see is there a clip that i can see to so i can get like a vibe for what the for what the little stream was i don't even want to say it like that my fault because i sound like hating that's not what i was trying to say it's just something that i don't really tune into so it's hard for me to like ah you feel me but it's no hate i think that's great that they had a great stream I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people liked it hey man like i said that's a talent Kai, that's a talent for kai bro because like i just you know what i'm saying like i'm really trying to sit back and think like how hard i have to like make myself vibe out to a song like this you know what i'm saying um her presence might really do something to a nigga though for real like her presence alone might just make you be like yo i just might need to bow down you know what i'm saying i might i might take the knee and just be like yo like what's up it's, it's queen in the room like on some respectful shit but this song i just couldn't jump in my chair to it it's crazy you see it's filter yeah uh-huh and it's oh okay that is that is you okay okay that's what i'll be saying you see what she did there because it's filter and then there's fill tur so you really got i don't get what the fuck so she 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 in a vibe bro she in a vibe go down to earth oh okay i'm coming stop telling me what to do moment I think that's great. If if she coming around, she meeting people and you know showing their face and being a homie and you know she's she's responding to the hospitality and everything like that. I think that's fire. Kai so young, her husband not allowed one hundred feet near him. Bro, relax. That didn't even need to be said. But see a nigga like see, you see what I'm saying? Mom and sis. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> That's that's dope. That's great. Yeah, this is fire. This is great. This this is nice. She's making the stream entertaining. Jesus appreciate you with the gifted. He's she's making the stream entertaining. Um, they having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Putting herself out there in another light. I think that's great. They had a good time. Basically, is that the vibe I'm getting from the stream? They had a good time. That, I get it. Completely understand it, and I get it. It's just like one of those situations where I just know who I am. I just know I'm not energetic enough um inviting enough um i certainly would be on some like old head elliot wilson well how'd you do that song how did you put this together um but anyway what i was trying to get to before y'all was rudely interrupting me with your hospitality and shit like that um and your and your chivalrousness um it's just not my speed you know what i'm saying that's just not me um, but you got to know your lane and you can't disrespect other people for being outgoing and doing their thing. I think that's dope for Kai Sinet that he's getting rappers to come on his stream and artists to come on his stream and making them feel comfortable and showing a side of themselves that they don't normally get to show people. Um, they're on these streams at length. They're having cool conversations or having funny moments. They're being taken care of while they're on there. They're being praised in ways that they probably don't get praised in spaces where people are looking to either criticize them or uh review their records they might not feel love like that so right here i mean she might just feel unanimous love in this room right now and i think that's cool you know i think that's great so the issue i had not was what you know it wasn't with kai sinet or Nicki minaj for seemingly having a good time on their stream because i think that's great the issue i had was when i see somebody like elliot wilson um who is pretty well known in the hip-hop you know journalism space to a degree basically get on his platform to kind of throw shade or you know stones at Nicki minaj and kai sinet because they had a had a good stream like because they had a good time and he basically implies like hip-hop journalism like anybody goes or went to that stream looking for kai to ask Nicki minaj about the process in making uh barbie world or the process and how'd you meet up with ice spice and get this done like he's not supposed Sex to be the one to ask those type of questions key. He's not supposed to be the one to ask those types of questions. I just think that's weird to even request that. Where is the tweet? I don't know if I got it bookmarked. I don't know where I put it. It's a whole bunch of tweets about other irrelevant shit that's on this timeline right here that I don't really feel the need to peer into. Um, he be tweeting. I can say that because I got to scroll for days to find what he said. Did he delete it? I would like it if I would. I think it would be a great idea if he deleted it. But you went too deep in at this point. So I don't really probably think, you know what I'm saying, that you would go back on what you said earlier. Like maybe it was just for buzz. Maybe you wanted some attention that day. Maybe I don't know what it was, but I just thought it was a completely unnecessary and weird thing to say. 
and shade to throw at somebody that's not even trying to come for your spot. He's a streamer. He's a streamer. Oh, this is what it was. Thank you for linking it because I never would have found it. Elliot, if you this isn't what he said. Kaya fellow Zoe, I got to kind of respect it. That's cool. Terrence quoted it. Oh, my God, bro. I need to hop on Twitter some more because I don't be bookmarking the things that I need to bookmark. All this in there is. But that's what I was saying earlier this year when people were getting on the Bobby girl for having interviews. Um, and while I understand her model or her makeup is very much so like vulture-ish, um, I'm thinking like, what else are y'all doing to make it interesting or give the guests who are coming in to be on your platform an incentive, an incentive to keep coming back when you're not really giving them anything? Like they're they're not gaining anything by being on your platform nine times out of ten. It just does nothing for them. If Nicki Minaj goes to an Elliot Wilson anything, or she goes on a platform to talk about uh wait, what's your space in hip hop? Or they basically just they're looking for things to clip and take I just got wrong my and make you look you make you look like shit. Me. I just feel like it's it's shit that doesn't benefit them. And then you look at the interview, it's like it's boring. There's nothing new. Y'all not asking new questions. Y'all not taking them new places. Y'all not going deeper into their mind or their psyche to really understand whatever creative process you're trying to look into. Y'all asking the same questions over and over and over again. And then you get mad when somebody new gives them a, a, a space to express themselves in a different way. I don't know where the tweet is. I'm thinking he deleted it. Nicki Minaj went scorched earth on Elliot Wilson. Like, why would you say this? Why would you say this? I just think it's so weird. So what inspires you for the 20th time? I'm saying Hot Ones and Narwhal are the best. Hot Ones has a nice platform in which people can like do a, a cool thing. Like most people like they might not even go in there because they want to hear the questions. But like how fucking hot are these wings? I want to try it, my nigga. Like Narwhal, he's giving them gifts like little uh, specific to you. Like when you watch a Narwhal interview, you sitting up there and you're like, yo, this dude tailor made this entire thing for this one person even though he has a specific style people are going on there and they're like yo this person really cares enough about this to do their homework on every aspect of who i am and who i've been and even parts that i didn't even know that they would know about that's fire as fuck marco is cool too because he's just a funny nigga and you don't have to be overly serious i would assume in his presence uh it's nothing that to take too serious but hip hop journalism being what you say is just, oh my God, why? Elliot, if you'd spit Jay-Z dick out for one second, you'd be able to be happy for the newcomers. Isn't that how y'all tried to tarnish my image by saying I'm not welcoming new bitches in? Granted, that would be a fair criticism because I think to some degree, there is a little bit of a kiss the ring thing that she might be wanting to do sometime with newer newer acts that are up and coming. Um, and I think if there's a newer act that's up and coming as female that wants to play into that, that's fine. But I think if they don't want to play into it, I don't think that they deserve any type of shade or nothing like that. If that's what's happening, I think it's fair to, you know, ponder on that, though. Um, did songs with all of them, though, which is true. Why are you not happy for a young black man like Kai? That's also a fair criticism, though. That's a fair critique. If that's one of the critiques that she gets for not being a welcomer to the newcomers, you shouldn't be on this high horse downplaying a stream that has never been or never was trying to be a hip hop journalism pay page or nothing or trying to be a rap homage. You should just get over yourself. You're losing your relevance a little bit, and I think that's okay. Fade into obscurity gracefully, gracefully. I think this was just some jealous shit to say, though. It was a bunch of people asking, like, why don't you be doing interviews with people? It's like, and ask them what? And do what? What is the benefit? The only person who benefits off of an interview in a traditional hip hop journalism style fashion is the person doing the interview, not the artist nine times out of 10. And I get if the artist wants to be, you know, uh, charitable and, and, and give them that look. But there's no benefit. It, Nicki Minaj sitting down and having an interview with somebody and they get like three million views on a platform does absolutely nothing because nobody's going back to listen to the album. Nobody sees her in a different light. Nobody sees what other products that she might be uh, putting out there. Um, nobody has an incentive to go to her show. They don't know her energy. They don't know her personality. Nothing. I would get absolutely nothing watching an inter uh, interview with Nicki Minaj from a, di tr a traditional hip hop uh, point of view. It just wouldn't work. But this works. It makes sense. Don't be surprised why all, why all the rappers are going to a streamer to put their projects in their in their information out there and not coming to y'all because you keep asking the same five fucking questions.
it, it'd be boring as fuck. 